Hi, Virgo. So this message is maintain your positive state. And as we look at this card, we get a sense of how light it is, the wings, the clouds, the air, the float, the sensation of floating, perhaps. Maintaining your positive state, and it's simply a very powerful yet simple message. And that is to look at life through a positive lens. Even when times are tough, even when people are in your face or giving you a hard time, you may want to react. You want, you may want to just let it fly, but there's a sense of grace and a sense of peacefulness when you're able to stay in the positive zone and the positive mindset. And that positive mindset is important because it's how we visualize ourselves our relationships, our friendships, our work relationships. When we are positive about living and how we deal with life, more often than not, we see solutions. We see an opportunity to problem solve. But when we get stuck around those who are negative or toxic or always bringing the, the conversation down, you know, it's disheartening, it's, uh, dis, it's disenfranchising. It's really like run, don't walk from that situation, which is there are plenty of people to rain on your parade. There are plenty of people in this world that will say, you can't do that. You're a fool. And here you're believing, you're believing in yourself. You're believing in possibilities. Many people may say, you're looking through life through rose-colored glasses, honey. And you have to just nod, you know, bob and nod, just nod your head, walk away, and stick to your, your principles of being positive. It's the lightness, and it is the, it's a lot of strength in being positive, which is I'm going to see the gratitude and the good in life versus focusing or getting trapped within this negative cycle. We often, sometimes we see it at work when, you know, your coworkers are bashing the boss or something, you know, finding something at fault. You know, pick yourself up and walk away. Find other people this week who are positive thinkers and doers. Okay. So this card says breakthrough, leap of faith, freedom, and new beginnings. So the power of taking a leap of faith, it's when you feel positive, when you feel confident, when you feel ready. We often have this little nudge within us, the, the button that gets pressed when you're like, that's it, I'm doing it. I'm going to take this leap of faith. I'm going to uh, you know, try something new. I'm going to do something that I've been afraid to do, maybe skydiving, whatever it could be. And so I'm going to pursue that opportunity. For some, maybe it's pursuing relationships. Maybe you've backed off. For others, maybe it's a new location or a new career. But this breakthrough, it's a matter of mindset, of putting yourself in a position to try something Regardless of the outcome, whether you fail, whether you are successful, you learn from the experience, you build up the, again, the experience of, of trying something that it gives you more information that in the future you may say, well, if I did it this way, maybe I would have, you know, it might work out. And for some of you, taking that leap of faith may actually put you in a place of complete contentment and fulfillment of happiness because you are doing what you are meant to do and what you're hoping to do. So for those this week that are thinking of breakthroughs, of allowing a new beginning to come into your life, you know, it's an exciting time and it's something that you should welcome and take within you. It, it'll bring you, uh, you know, it's just the possibilities are always wide open. 
wide open for happiness, wide open for love, as long as you believe in what you're doing and that, you know, this new beginning is going to somehow create additional freedoms within your life. Okay, so this says career transition. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So along with this idea of leap of faith, of freedom, of new beginnings, for some of you, but not all of you, you may be thinking about how can I change my career? How can I get into a different field or a lateral move that's going to bring more time into my life or that's going to capture my artistic talent or my creativity because I'm in a job that's not doing that. So career transition doesn't mean that you have to drop things cold turkey. It can mean that you are, you begin to introduce that activity in a small part of your life and maybe it's an hour after your, your work day that you're sewing or doing whatever you may be doing may be doing. So um, you can begin to initiate this leap of faith by introducing whether it's a hobby that could lead to a career. For others, it may be, yeah, you've been circulating your resume behind the scenes and you're hoping to make a break. And for others, this career transition may be getting additional education or certification to help you. So very interesting with these cards for this group here of really being positive with your outlook of considering and moving forward with a leap of faith and, uh, you know, it's what your heart's telling you to do, following what your heart is telling you to do. Okay, so let's take a look at the Malachite. Relax and allow light in. So we have the rainbow here. We have the chakra colors. We have a sense of peacefulness and uh, centeredness, I would say. And I love the idea of allowing light in. And that's why I'm really drawn to these cards, because they do focus on the light. And the light's important. The light within our spirit, the light within our life, of, again, how we look at life, how we approach uh, others, how we interact, how we envi envision our futures. It's about being light-filled, light-hearted, and giving that light to others through kindness, through graciousness, through compassion, through sympathy. Those are hallmarks of being a light-filled person and someone who really has this divine sense of purpose and of love within. The light and the love really coexist. And so when you are coming from a loving place, you truly are bringing your light to others. Life is enlightening. It's illuminating. We're always learning. We have wins. We have losses. And through it all, if we can just stay focused on the light, then we can be very powerful. We can be happier, perhaps, and find joy within what we do. So this week, take a deep breath. Allow the light, allow lightness of spirit to come to you through laughter, perhaps, through time outside, through wonderful interactions with your friends. So this card says, dreamscape, dream work, subconscious and imagination. Dream work. 
so interesting when we think about our dreams, when we think about what our subconscious is trying to tell us. And so just from a very practical point of view for this week, for those that chose this set of cards, if, you ha if you're not doing this already, get a journal. And if you can remember your dream when you wake up, first thing, write it down. We often are getting these messages sent to us through our dreams, through our subconscious mind when we are, you know, we are laying it down and the messages are just rifling through. And so thinking about our thinking, thinking about um, our dreams of being imaginative, of letting the, I think it's a, I feel like it's a looseness of our mind is to not feel so constrained and to not feel so boxed in, but to open up your channels, to be imaginative, to whether that's writing, whether it's through dance, whether it's through music or cooking or whatever it may be. It's allowing your imagination to flow and it's paying attention to the subconscious messages that always bombard us, numbers, things that people say are intuitive hunches, listening to those subconscious um, desires. You know, perhaps we try to suppress them, but listen to them this week, pay attention to see if they are uh, meaningful in any way. And the, you know, the dreams are always interesting because sometimes you go through a spell, you don't remember anything. And then there are other times you just have the wildest dreams. You're like, wow, where did this come from? For some of you, maybe you want to read up a little bit on dream work or, you know, analyzing or interpreting dreams. For others, maybe it's just making a note, a mental note of it. Okay. So this says, beloved one, I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So for some of you, um, as you're allowing the light to come in, as you are thinking about your dreams and your subconscious desires or hopes, here is a message um, that's telling you to, to think about your spiritual soulmate. That relationship is important. So whether that's a certain person, whether it's honestly, I would say well, for some, maybe it's yourself, the spiritual relationship with yourself perhaps needs some attention. And how do we do that? We relax, we can do yoga, we can um, practice uh, thoughtful contemplation or, or just the going to your altar and being quiet and um, writing a gratitude journal, many ways to honor those relationships. But know with this message that, you know, helping you behind the scenes of perhaps putting more light into this relationship, <clears throat> excuse me, giving you more information, more messages for you to tune into. So, Again, this week, pay attention to the messages, pay attention to your dreams. Allow your imagination to flow, whether it's drawing, you know, so many ways that we can express ourselves, but bringing that into your life and just for an hour, maybe this week can, can really bring a lot of lightheartedness to you could also be very revealing. I know that many people like to auto write where you just sit down and then you just, the pen moves. So maybe for some of you, that could be uh, up a, um, you know, something to take on and to see what comes of it. So that's what we have here for Malachite. And then finally, now we have our tiger's eye group. So we have infinite possibility. And of course we have we, uh, the infinite symbol. And if we really think about what life brings to us, life brings so many opportunities, you know, the, the list is endless. 
the opportunities for rebirth, for transformation, for change, for happiness, for joy are never ending. And it's not that it has a shelf life. You know, it's, you may manifest your powers. You may be creating a great avenue and perhaps that avenue begins to, to fall by the wayside and you're coming up with something new. Well, you know, it just never ends your opportunities to enhance, to enrich and to enlighten your life, your spirituality, the love that you have. It's always there. You know, it's up to you to visualize. It's up to you to have faith and belief in yourself and belief in what you can accomplish. So as a theme for the week, to think about that life is an amazing opportunity of infinite possibilities. They really do exist. It's a matter of what you believe and what you think. And when you can set your visualization, we can set your intentions of manifesting and bringing in these possibilities to you, then that is really, that's an amazing practice. It's an amazing uh, event to happen within someone's life. To first off, to believe in infinite possibility. You have to believe that you can achieve what, Again, what Napoleon Hill said, you can achieve what the mind believes. So, so many opportunities to be creative, to be loving, to be a leader of light, to be a leader of love, to be a sympathetic soul to others, to be helpful, to be of service. So many ways to, to do these things within our life. Okay, so we have adventure, innocence, play, and discovery. So here the woman is holding the key. Looks like she's on the rainbow bridge. (laughs) And she's looking into perhaps a, a mirror of herself with wings. And we see the beautiful colors of the cosmos or the galaxies, whatever it may be. And adventure is important because we get, we get bogged down and tied down by having to work and pay our bills and to tend to our obligations, our commitments and the things that we have to achieve and to do, make, make the lunch for the next day to bring to work for some of you. And so the routine and the monotony of life can, can be a drag after a while. So With adventure, this is such a small, gentle reminder to say, have fun. Life is short. Allow yourself permission to go on an adventure. And maybe it's driving somewhere unknown for two hours, or maybe taking a unplanned, spontaneous trip, a new, exciting experience for you. For others, perhaps it's just getting outside and doing something maybe you haven't done in a while, or you know, signing up for a race, but to incorporate and to bring play into your life is really important because it lifts our spirit. It, um, you know, often can put a smile on our face and that's important. And, um, you discover, you may discover something else that leads you in a different direction as a result of this playfulness of this desire to, um, you know, have some innocent, happy fun may lead you in the direction perhaps of someone that could change your life. Maybe through this um, choice of yours to make, which is play. You meet somebody, you meet a great friend, you meet a business partner, you meet a love partner, future husband or wife. All because you made the choice for that day to say, I'm going to go out and have some fun. I'm going to go kick the soccer ball around or I'm going to go shoot some baskets and just let everything go and relax and have some fun. For others, again, getting in the car, taking a long trip, getting to the mountains, you just never know what else can come of that, of how you could be inspired. So finding adventure 
Again, infinite possibilities exist when you use your imagination, when you feel free, when you feel lighthearted, when you are playful and happy, and you enjoy that innocent feeling of simply having fun without restriction. So let's see what we have for our last message. So this message is all is well. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. So this is a nice message saying that within your life, infinite possibilities exist and always will. And our guides are saying, have some fun. Enjoy the innocence like when you were a child and you just went, ran outside and, or jumped in a puddle, whatever it may be. Feel that innocence. Allow your imagination to run wild. Play. Be playful. And know that all is well within your life and that we're really looking behind you. We've got you. We're leading you in the right directions. But most importantly is we do want you to be fulfilled. We want you to be happy. And for this week, for those that chose Tiger's Eye, this is where they're leading you to. And uh, everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to, with hidden blessings. Again, the offshoot of being imaginative, the offshoot of pursuing a possibility. The consequence of believing that there are so many infinite opportunities within your life to do what you want to do, to find happiness and to be content. Very, very powerful and comforting as well to know that all is well. And again, all is well when we focus on the simple things in life, about our health, about our mindset, about being grateful. All is well. And knowing that you have this wonderful force, this divine force, leading us and leading you to the infinite, infinite possibilities, to leading you to the happiness and the fulfillment and the purpose that you're meant to have. So my friends, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found your message to be helpful, your choice that you were drawn to for the week. I wish you the best in love and happiness and joy and playfulness this week as well. So have a good one. If you enjoyed this reading, subscribe, like this video, leave a comment below, and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.